Well, hello and how are you? Hey, friends. Welcome to the Shen Show. This is Shenandoah Briscoe, your host. Today is Monday, June the 22nd, or 20th, 2016. B blog number 893. Well, I tell you what, we've got a passing in the family. Not my family per se. It's my roommate's family, and well, that would be the, uh, over beef family and so therefore we would like to give our condolences to the over beef family and uh you know they're so celebrating it with the spirit though because well um he was a big cardinals fan and well that's what we're going in today uh hence the red shirt so we're doing cardinals colors you know randy was a big fan of the cardinals and hey uh, as a matter of fact, it just so happened that the day he was uh, passing, a uh, Cardinals game was on. That was the last thing he got a chance to take a look at. He uh, woke up just in time to uh, watch a little bit of the game, and then he passed. So he enjoyed his last few moments of life uh, doing what he loved to do watching them Cardinals. So, hey, there you go. Um, we got some upcoming events uh, again with the upcoming events. Don't forget that uh, uh, this Wednesday coming up, July 20th, will be Music on Main, um, always the third Wednesday of the month. And that just so happens to be this one. And, oh, no, that wouldn't be this one. What am I talking about? That's not going to be until next month, July 20th. Well, what am I calling it? And, and June June 24th. Now, that one is coming up. That'll be um, Friday. So, come on out. The uh, um, sunsets on the lake uh, at Lakeside Park. Out there in uh, Sunset Concerts, Lakeside, Lakeside Park at um, I-370 and, what is that, Harry S. Truman Boulevard, right there, you'll take a turn to the south, and then you'll end up, no, turn to the north, take a turn to the north, at Harry S. Truman Boulevard, and you'll be on uh, Lakeside Park Drive. Come on out, enjoy the concert. My, it's called the Acoustic Jam, uh, and being so it's the Acoustic Jam, my dad will be one of the uh, um, what you call it performers. Is that what I'm trying to say? What is going on? Yeah, my dad will be one of the uh, um, premier performers in that. And basically what they do is they just uh, pass it around to each individual person and they um, perform. And there's like, um, I think I think there's probably 20 different uh, uh guitar artist there and so you know it makes for a good show so show on up and uh enjoy 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 like i said it's friday night concerts at um sunset concerts out there on uh lakeside park all righty then let's see what else did i want to mention today oh how about a song we can do a song, can't we? Sure we can. Hope you enjoyed those Father's Day songs yesterday. Um, speaking of that, I ended up at the Olive Garden. Oh, I made mention of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, daughter used to work at a uh, company that uh, on her way out, she decided that it was time to leave. Too much stress at that company and not enough recognition for what she was doing. So she felt that it was a, her time to leave. And 
so they uh, um, cashed in points or something like that and well you know how you get credit card points well she got kudos points and so any whenever she'd done something good or whatever she got points so she cashed in on her all her points and got um, what gift cards to different restaurants and stuff and well phew, there was out of the what eight restaurants three of them were here and the rest of them were in Kansas City and elsewhere so we went to the Olive Garden our other choice was uh, Red Lobster and Longhorn Steakhouse we just decided to choose um, Olive Garden which uh, well I'll have to say the um, hostesses out there in Cave Springs at that Olive Garden wow we you know what I'm saying but that's just because you know it takes one to know one and you know what I mean that means you know I'm good looking so if I'm good looking I can pick out the good looking ones too oh by the way speaking about me being so good looking I am looking for a uh, new caregiver um, to not caregiver per se new roommate to uh, I provide room and board so uh, no no rent necessary and um, all the utilities are covered too so I pay rent and I pay the utilities so if that's a good deal for you then give me a call at 636-255-0004 um, that way it'll be on my house phone you can leave a message if need be basically I'm looking for somebody in the age range of uh, let's see half my age plus seven would be 32 anywhere between 32 and 45 somewhere in there and then that way I you know how it goes anyway that being said let's uh let me see if I can't find a song all right all right maybe if i find one that's good enough y'all can sing along all right okay then wilbur oops it helps i'm sitting here hovering over my pause button and seeing how my dragon i mean my dragger is not turned on it's not going to click it's a dwell click sort of thing and I have to hover with my uh, cursor over something and like uh, I've explained before my cursor is operated with a uh, um, a little laser and it looks at that little silver spot on the end of my microphone there and it follows that around and then I have a dragger which is a uh, dwell type clicker so if I dwell over something long enough it will click on it but it doesn't do any good if it's not on so let me flip that on and then I'll pause out and find us a song and I'll come back and maybe you can sing along okay here we go well it was all that I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so useless to remain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. You don't have to call me Waylon Jennings. Ba-doom, ba-doom. You don't have to call me 
Charlie Pride. And you don't even have to call me Merrill Haggard anymore. Even though you're on my fighting side. And I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never minded standing in the rain. But you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me by my name. Well, I heard my name a few times in your phone book. Hello, hello. And I've seen it on signs where I have played. But the only time I know I'll hear David Allen Cole is when Jesus has his final judgment day. Well, I have heard my name a few times in your telephone book. Hello, hello. And I've seen it on signs where I have played. But the only time I know I'll hear Dave and Alan Cole is when Jesus has his final judgment day. Well, a friend of mine named Steve Goodman wrote that song, and he told me it was the perfect country and western song. Well, I wrote him back a letter, and I told him it was not the perfect country and western song. Well, because he hadn't said anything about Mama or trains or trucks or prison or getting drunk well he sat down and he wrote another verse to this song and he sent it to me and after reading it I realized that my friend had written the perfect country and western song and so well I felt obliged to include it on this here album and that last verse goes something like this here well I was drunk the day my mama got out of prison and I went to pick her up in the rain but before I could get to the station in my pickup truck she got ran over by a darn old train and I'll hang around as long as you will let me. And I never minded standing in the rain. No, you don't have to call me darling, darling. You never even call me. Well, I wonder why you don't call me. Why won't you even call me by my name no I'll hang around as long as you will let me and I never minded standing in the rain no you don't have to call me darling darling you never call there we go. Hey, hey, hey. I hope y'all sang along with that one. That's one of my favorite sing-along songs. And so, hey, we just had to put her out there, don't you know? All right, hey, it looks like it's about that time for our portion of the program called uh, Our Daily Bread. And, well, I'm going to kick that on off there. And I tell you what, we will be reading... uh psalms today and uh it's going to be psalms 68 7 10 and 19 what 7 10 7 through 10 there we go 
Psalms 68, 7 through 10, and then 19 through 20. There we go. I knew it was in there. All right, and also uh, throughout uh, the Daily Bread, if you're keeping up with the Bible in a year, you'll be reading Esther 1 through 2 and Acts 5, 1 through 21. All right, here we go with Psalms. Um, oh, by the way, our devotional is called Hua. And if you remember called uh, a movie called, I don't remember what the movie called, but it started at Al Pacino, and that was his line all the way through the movie. Hua. Anyway, here we go. Oh, God, when you went forth before your people, when, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth quaked. The heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai. It's quake itself. God. The presence of God. Sinai itself quaked at the presence of God and the God of Israel. You sh showed. You shed abroad a plentiful rain, O God. You confirmed your inheritance when it was parched and your creatures settled in it. You provided in your goodness for the poor of God. Psalms 68, 19 through 20. Blessed be thy Lord, the, our daily poor our daily bearers of burden, the God who is our savior, salvation. God is true. A God is to us a God of deliverance, and to God the Lord belongs, escapes from death. Okay, there you have it. Psalms 68, 7 through 10, and 19 through 20. That ought to do it. Sounds like that's the end of our program. That's all we got time for. So what I am going to say is, Goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for tuning in to The Shen Show. This is your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, saying hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.